Friday top five. It's a new thing. I'm going with it. One, I'm a terrible driver. Two, what was my second point? One, we'll just start with one. I'm a terrible driver. Terrible. So I was going to the gym last night, trying to go to the gym last night, which if you ask me, I feel like it should just count because I tried. So activity points, just for the thought. Anyway, so I took a turn. <laughs> I took a turn way too sharp and popped my tire. Popped it real, real good. So I had to sit in a parking lot and ask for help because I have no lucrative skills. No lucrative life skills. Actually, I don't think I have any life skills that aren't lucrative. <laughs> so no life skills. So then I had to wait for this dude to get here where I was waiting when I had to stop listening to my true crime podcast because I didn't want to be scared. So I put on the Frozen soundtrack and I sat there and cried alone in my car was texting my girlfriends because I needed to make sure somebody knew I wasn't going to get abducted and die. Be weird, be rude, stay alive. Thank you, crime junkie. Um, so he shows up. He and he like finds my spare tire underneath the seats and stuff. Shows me how to do that. Tells me that there's a jack there and some sort of wrench. He's like teaching me about my lock and lug nuts and how to do that. I'm never, ever going to do that, ever. I'm all for, like, being independent and having skills. I'm not going to change a tire ever. But thank you, sir, for showing me all of that stuff. And then, and then, after he fixed it, I waited for 20 minutes listening to him tell stories. Long story short, my car has a spare tire on it, but we have all-wheel drive, so it's not really good for my car for me to drive around on that. Number two. I think I probably should learn what constitutes an actual emergency as opposed to the type of emergency that my brain tells me everything. <laughs> everything in my life that isn't in my plan is an emergency. So my big plan today was to take Wrangler to his grooming appointment at 9 a.m. I woke up very early worried that I was not going to be able to do that. I could have easily just been like, Guess the dog's not getting groomed today. But it was an emergency, and I was flipping the F out. I need to calm down, guys. I tried real hard to rope Jeff into thinking that this was an emergency, too. But he wouldn't. He was like, this is not an emergency. And I was like, it is an emergency. And I was crying and feeling really disappointed in myself for messing up our tire and, like, ruining my plans so it was an emergency and I was flipping out and like being a crazy person and then I was like oh I'll just call and reschedule his grooming appointment but it took me like an hour and a half to come to that conclusion and then she was like oh no that's totally fine so we rescheduled it for next week and then I was like oh that was an emergency not an emergency at all at all this leads me to number we're on three it takes a village so after notifying everyone in my life of the emergency i was facing not facing i was able to rope my mom into thinking that this is an emergency because she's always down to get riled up <laughs> No, she's super helpful. So I was like, I need help. Help me. And she was like, okay, I'll come help you. So she was she was going to come over and she was going to watch Sam so I could Uber to the airport and get a rental car that Jeff rented for me. Thanks, husband. So that I wouldn't have to be without a car so I can still go to Meyer and leave the house if I needed to. And so she was going to come and watch Sam so that he could take a nap. And then I was like, park. I have a better idea. I thought, since we had called the dealership right when they opened, because I was waiting for it to turn 7 o'clock in the morning so I could do that, well, I made Jeff do it. Anyway, so 
they were like, oh, sure, we don't have any appointments, but you can drop it off. As long as you don't wait all day, we can, like, look at it in between. And I was like, <laughs> emergency. <laughs> My life. So, I was like, how are we going to get the car there? And I wasn't, again, everything was an emergency. So, I was, like, not thinking clearly. If I was in a real emergency, guys, what the heck would I do? I would be, like, completely irrational. Like, incapacitated. Hot mess express. Somebody, please commit me. Anyway, so I was like, park, I have a better idea. Let's do this. Mom, I'm going to load the car seat into your car. You're going to follow me to the dealership. We're going to drop my car. Then we're going to ride together to the airport. We're going to pick up my rental car. We're going to switch the car seat. And then we're going to go home. You're going to go home. I'm going to go home. Baby's going to take a nap. Number four is that Mama's going to get a nap later. All of this excitement has, like, made my adrenaline, like, so whatever it's supposed to do, like course through your veins. I'm like all hyped up, ready to go. I could probably like lift a car now. Isn't that like what they say? Sometimes you have like adrenaline, you can like superhuman strength, hulk out. That could be me. It's probably not what I'm gonna use all of this like energy for, but I'm gonna take a nap later and it's gonna be great. Although I'm not really a napper, so I probably won't. I'm just gonna say it. And then number five, this is the last of the Friday top five, and you can be done hearing about the non-emergency of my life. Number five is I'm just going to keep drinking coffee. I'm just going to keep doing it because that's what Fridays are for. Happy Friday, everyone. Hopefully your day isn't as big, as a, as big of a dumpster fire as mine has been, but.